do. Time that could be spent. Um... No, don't say the P word. Uh, again, Just out that. yeah, that's you know. I think that's three times you've mentioned it in the last two videos wow. now. Uh, you know, I'm feeling under pressure, Steve. I'm not really. I don't care. <laughs> oh, I don't care you what go. you say. What did your teacher say? <laughs> exactly, yeah. Meh. Steve. Whatever. <laughs> Welcome back to the Blues Box. Um, do you know what? You know I hate unboxing videos. So you keep. I've got another one. You keep doing. <laughs> I'm them. doing another one. The only reason I'm going to do an unboxing video is is literally because I just want to see what's in the box with one of these, uh, and just chat about them. Uh, okay. You're laughing, but you only have two pedals. But other people have lots of pedals. They have many pedals. Sometimes different connections and different power needs. So something I like this do can want you know. Because I have cable issues and oh. I really hate the fact I've got. That daisy chain thing. Yeah, the daisy, ah, the daisy chain. We'll go on to that. So, well, welcome back to the Blues Box anyway. Um, if you like what we do, if you're interested in seeing more stuff, um, please do subscribe and hit the little notification bell because that will uh, give you a notification, funnily enough. Yeah, will it? It will. That's I always what, wonder what that was for. No, yeah, that's what it does. It's amazing, isn't it? Uh, modern technology, eh? <laughs> um, so, yeah, comment, um, give us a like if, 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 you, if you would. That would be really appreciated. But we're going to be having a look today at the Fender Engine Room, which is a power supply from Fender. They do three, I think. They do a five output one, an eight output one, and this is the the big daddy, the 12 output of one. Of course. Of course. Well, you do better have be years, a few ridiculous amount of pedals. <laughs> I enjoy them. I just enjoy them. <laughs> more more just, than practicing, yeah, obviously. Much more than practicing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, in the desperate hope they cover up my playing, okay. that's what it is. Um, I'm sure I'm not alone no, in I'm that sure particular <laughs> thing. So anyway, yeah, the engine room by Fender. So I thought we'd take a look inside. You mentioned daisy chains. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we all have used daisy chains. I still use a daisy chain. Um, I've actually got three power supplies currently, one daisy chains into some of them, and then a few of the others that draw a lot more power, like there's a, a, a Strymon pedal on there. It's got its own, it needs more juice. Right. Um, this will provide, I think it's 500 milliamps per output, so it'll pretty much power anything you can think of. Um, but we'll have a look at, at that. But daisy chains, occasionally you will come up against the problem of noise. Yeah. Um, depends on the noise on the electrical system in the place you're playing or wherever you're set up. I have recently come across it with a few pedals where, bizarrely, a few features on the pedal, once you engage them, a couple of the different power supplies I had, I got noise from the one pedal straight away. Hmm. Um, I am not a massive expert on why this happens, but I believe it's to do with the grounding wire mainly between everything. Right. Uh, and you can get, oh, I don't know, to, I'm going to say this and I'm going to get absolutely mullered now, but I believe it's to do with charge building up in the ground cable and it can flow from pedal to pedal on a daisy chain. So it'll find, okay. it'll find a home. But anyway, you will get that one pedal. I was playing with, a, I was just having a go of a walrus audio pedal and that did not like the daisy chain at all. Which is really um, noisy. It just suddenly was really noisy. Uh, there was a um, Keeley Ecos pedal, which is a cracking pedal. Yeah. Didn't like being on a shared power supply at all. Mm. It might not be that pedal that's causing it. It might be another pedal causing it, but that one's feeling it. Right. So you can't blame one. But the idea with these is they separate your power supply up completely. There's literally like 12 isolated power supplies feeding each. So it's the individual one. cable bit that's the important bit. It, it is, but you, you need a, a fully separate, what's called isolated supply on each one. Um, be careful because if you go on Amazon or eBay, there are, I'm gonna do this, I hate this, isolated power supplies. Don't do that, yeah, what I'm saying. Uh, they're not isolated power supplies, they, they really aren't. The word isolated power supply and cheap don't go together. So if you see something that says it's an isolated power supply, it's 40 quid, right. it's not. It's not. Currently, as okay. of date of recording, That's there isn't anything on that, okay? So even like, you know, like brick looking ones like yeah. this, yeah. you get cheaper ones that aren't isolated. Correct. They That's say they're isolated. Because a friend of mine's just got one. Uh, cheapy. Yeah. And yeah. It's, it's only playing at home, so it's obviously doing a job. Do you know what? It may work fine, because just like a daisy chain can yeah. work fine, yeah, yeah. it may be absolutely... But again, he has, he's not yeah. using a lot of pedals, maybe no. three or four pedals. But, but if, you, if you care about the noise on your pedals, or if you've got a pedal that's really giving you a problem, or you're gigging live and you don't want a problem, 
this could be your answer. Okay. Okay, now we'll have a look at it and then we'll just talk about mounting it as well. And of course, price. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to know the prices? Steve? Well, I did look, I was looking at the, I think it was the Strymon one. Okay, yeah. A few yep. months back. And yep. then, I don't know how long this has been out, but I obviously Fair well. then discovered this one, mm. which was, I think it was quite a bit cheaper than it the is, Strymon one. It is, it is a bit yeah. cheaper than the, so. It was, what, 130-ish? No, that would no. be the eight. Okay. That's the eight. So there's a five, I think it's about 90, 100, somewhere around there. Right. Uh, then you've got an eight out, which is, I think, 140, 150, 160-ish. Okay. And then you've got this, which is about 200, 220, depending oh, on what you buy. similar to the Strymon one, then? Uh, I, think, I think the big Strymon's a bit more now. Is it? I think, yeah, it is. Um, yeah, and like the Strymon, I believe you can you can connect more than one to each other as well. So you, if, you, right. if your battle board grows, <laughs> Thank you, you can keep going. So, uh, okay, so obviously the actual unit itself, nice and compact. Mm -hmm. That's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be in terms of the depth of it. So that makes mounting it up under your board yeah. probably a little easier. What I would say, Fender aren't making any mounts at the moment. Now, if you've got the Fender pedal board, yeah. the mount is included and this oh. can go in sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's just funny that, isn't it? Ecosystem uh. time. I have seen people use Strymon mounts on these, but just quickly looking at that, I noticed there's vents on the side and I know the Strymon mount covers the sides, right. so I wouldn't do, so that. wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that because there's obviously there's a small fan in there, mm -hmm. either pulling or pushing. I'm not sure which way, and it's either drawing or pushing out of those. So I wouldn't cover those up. Right. So you're going to need to think about how you're going to mount that. Now they're not massively heavy, so you could Velcro that up underneath, right. and that would be fine. Um, Am I imagining it, or have I not seen people Velcro and the little cable type You can, things? yeah, so if you've got like a pedal train, really, don't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, you've got to, obviously, you're just going to have to make sure it's not getting in the way of any of the oh, outputs, yeah, of but you should be able to, with a thinner cable tie, do that. If you could put it round a, mm. yeah, so, so I would say, yeah, Velcro and a cable tie would do you yeah. nicely, actually. Or if you fancy doing a bit of metal work, I'm sure you could make a, some sort of bracket going along. I'll do that. You know, yeah. I'd love to see you do that. You actually sounded Bristolian then, mate. Did I? I'm picking it up. My right? heart. It's, it's, it's the oodles of empathy that I have. <laughs> it it's is, the warm, it? emotional that was actually character. a very sweet moment, Jeff. Was it? Oh. Yeah, it was like, good last year, wasn't oh, it? Oh, it's touched him. <laughs> so, <laughs> it won't happen again. Uh, okay, so moving on to things swiftly. swiftly. Yeah. Um, we might have to call it a day if it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's going down that route. Spending too much time doing that. <laughs> so, it looks like, yes, you can obviously. Daisy chain this on to another oh, one. I was so, going to ask you why. Is yeah, too, uh, so you've got your in and then you've got one. I didn't want to sound stupid. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time, though, would it, Steve? So uh, you could put another five on from mm -hmm. this manufacturer, so that would, you know, extend it out. That's what And then that's you've 15. got. That's. So you've got 12 on there. 12. Yeah, because remember that. <laughs> remember it says, yeah, it says 12? 12 there, isn't it? Just, you know. You don't think 12 pedals is enough, really, you know? I would say really for the vast pedals? majority of people, 12 pages, 12 pages, 12, 12 pages. pedals is going to be enough. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you've got your different outputs. Most of them, they're all obviously your usual uh, nine volt. Okay. Center, center negative, which is the vast majority of pedals now on the market. There are a few outliers where they're different voltages or uh, certain things uh, like fuzzies and certain pedals like a dropped voltage. Um, and a few like a few more volts. And on this end, you've got two outputs here with adjustable voltage from mm -hmm. 9, 12, and 18 volts. So that would just be for that individual? For that one out and that one out. So right. you've got two there. Okay. Well, the, usually, and we'll have a quick look, the cabling will usually have a couple of cables in there which would swap the um, polarity of that as well. Right. So if you've got center positive pedal, you can use the right cable and it will just be these wired. Are all, these are all words I've heard before. <laughs> Polarity. Polarity, yeah. Uh, How about science fiction film, Polarity? I don't know. Sounds like it should be. It probably should be. Probably sounds a bit B-movie, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. Um, you, for whatever you need, you've got a USB-C out as well, and you've got a little um, USB-A out there as well. So you can charge stuff while you're doing stuff. I just want it you so when I press my pedal, it comes on. I know. You're a simple honest. guy, aren't you? Yep. Many ways. <laughs> many, many ways. So yeah. I'm told. So that's the, that's the actual <laughs> unit. Obviously, it comes with the British plug there. I'm sure there are lots of people watching who were fascinated by all of that polarity talk. I'm sure they are. Well, you, Steve, if you get it wrong, <laughs> well, yeah, you, okay. you know, that £200 pedal you saved up long for, 
uh, it won't last you very long. Okay. All right, so behave, Stephen. I would say. Jeff, why's my pedal not working? Ever again. Ever again. <laughs> All right, so uh -huh. a plethora of cables. Obviously, that's the one if you want to take it on a, yeah. again. You've got some jack sockets there. Uh, I know my, the, my, my old rat pedal. Oh, well, yes, of them. okay. Yeah, they, the old ones, the vintage ones, took a, a jack rather than, you know, your sort of barrel socket, your usual barrel socket. You know, somebody actually sent me a picture of a rat pedal the other day making fun of me because my rat pedal had been stolen. <laughs> I'm genuine. <laughs> who, who did that? My Rob sent me a picture and I thought he'd bought a rat pedal. I said, oh, have you bought one? He said, no, just Jeff Mick Jaws. <laughs> well, I, mean, I just thank you for watching the episode. Yeah, that's all that's I can very, say, you know, one, two, enough. three, four, five, six. I'm guessing there's 12. So, I'm hoping <laughs> there are. What's nice, they're all, they've got a straight at one end, angled okay. at another yeah, end. Yeah. Good. So, uh, you know. There's a bug, but yeah. Those paddles with the power supply on the side, yeah. that's going to be really useful. Um, so just make sure when you're mounting this, you've got plenty of room for either an angled or a straight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because sometimes the straight is better for the top mount pedals, especially if you've got the jacks going in and they're a flat jack, they can take yeah. up a bit of room. It can be quite hard to get that in. Uh, and that's pretty much what we've got there. Look, oh, look at that one. We've got a little... Oh, that's for the... Oh, for yeah. PP3. Yeah. So if you've I got... You know, well done. I would hope so, since they're like about 80 years old or whatever it is, <laughs> since they've been invented or whatever it was. Um, yeah, and I guess... Gonna guess. I haven't looked at the instructions. I'm gonna guess those are where you're gonna be swapping polarity, so they've coloured them. Okay. So if you do have something that's not centre negative, that's mm -hmm. gonna come in useful. So plenty of cables in there. That's mm -hmm. nice. Nicely... Okay. Nice quality cable as well, they're nice and thick. They feel good, so that's nice. And I, I do think the, I'm pretty sure the Fender is, comes in cheaper than the, than yeah, the it Strymon. Was, it was when I was looking at them, but I can't remember yeah. which. I don't think it was 12 uh, I was looking yeah. at, but it might be I know eight. Walrus Audio do a massive one, uh, One Spot. It's quite a good value, large one, they're, they're, they're out there. There's Voodoo Labs and. I did watch a video when I was looking at them of, they were. <laughs> They were putting a wah wah pedal on top of them uh, okay. to see how much noise they made. Yeah. And I think it was this one yeah. that was really quiet. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's got a very similar look and feel to the Strymon, and I'm just a little something in me wondering who makes this for Fender. Okay. Or whether they make it themselves. Mm. Maybe, but I highly doubt that. I could be completely wrong. Um, but you know, sometimes you will get someone like. Strymon to make things for you or whoever, just, whatever right, factory yeah. make the Strymon one, maybe also make this one as well. I don't know, I haven't looked into that, but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that on the board and seeing if it's, because uh, you know, sometimes you'll just get, you're right, Wawa pedals, I think Octave pedals, I know, you know the old whammy pedals? Yeah. I've seen those can be a bit noisy on a, on a daisy chain especially. Yeah, well, my old crybaby really, really. Yeah, <laughs> did not like, <laughs> no. So I've even seen these just reduce overall white noise and hiss. Okay. So if you're particular and you know, I think it's worth, I think it's worth every penny. At the end mm. of the day, you know, if you've got 10 pedals on a board, you know, you're yeah. averaging, what, a hundred and something pound for a pedal, 120, 130, let's say, average yeah. for a pedal. If your boutique is a bit higher, TC Electronics, a bit less. Yeah, it's not, you know? a lot. it's not a lot really when you consider it's what it's doing. It's not really, and you're giving your pedals a bit of, you know, a nice power supply. Um, yeah, I I'm think joking you're... aside, I know I, I don't know how many pedals I've got now. It probably is about five. Yeah, but it's even that, there. the daisy chain is really annoying. Yeah, it is. It, <laughs> it, yeah, it is annoying, uh, and you need a pedal board that's the right size for you as well. No, that's because I. But I don't. No, no. Oh, I like this space Jeff. Why on my I, pedal board. Was... I don't want to step on one, but actually step on another. All right, okay. <laughs> well, you could actually mount that on top of your pedal board. You could actually put it to the side because you've got the I room. Could. And then you could run the cables out neatly with some cable ties. I also put that my set fine. list on top of my pedal board, but that's probably not why, what it's designed for. <laughs> you could put your set list on top of this on top of your pedal board mm. if you really had to. But um, I'm quite impressed with the yeah, build quality of that as well. Nice, it's actually. nicely it made really nice. piece of kit. Yeah. Um, Which you would hope so from Fender. Oh. <laughs> but you never know these days. They've had their ups and downs. Yeah. yeah. No, There's a little bit nice. of little bit of flex in the back panel because obviously that's bent up to me. So if you feel there's a bit of bit of flex in there, but Overall, yeah. some quite a nicely made, simply pressed steel. Nice, mm. nice finish on it. Yeah, it yeah I like yeah, that. I like nice. It. I'm looking forward to yeah. getting that set up on the board. So we're we gonna do a uh... what? Set it up on the board video? Yeah, <sighs> maybe. Well, there are too many of those out there. I don't know. There might be. Um, it's gonna be a challenge, I think, just mounting it neatly on the yeah, board. Yeah, we'll just um, see how. 
Decent so maybe we will look at that, that, give some ideas on that. Yeah. You know, get me... Uh, and a noise. The noise, noise comparison. Effects. I have seen, as I said, a few noise comparisons and you do hear a difference even with not a problem pedal. So even if yeah. you haven't got an actual problem, but as I said, I was playing around with a few pedals and they gave such noise that you couldn't use them. Hmm. Suddenly, you know, one pedal was giving me like that digital noise coming through it. Mm -hmm. um, and that can be a mix of analog pedals and digital pedals together on the same daisy chain. Right. Um, but as I said, I, I have um, Bogner Lagrange pedal. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. Yeah, and there's a, I'll just show, I'll quickly show you that. There is a little switch on this little fella. So we might do a little bit of a review on this at some mm. point, but there is this thing called a Variac switch. Okay. Now a Variac switch was to, was to sort of that drop voltage in an amp. You'd have amps customized to have less voltage going into them. It gives you a slightly different sound. Okay. A sort of a slightly scooped sound. Right. Um, can't explain it very well, to be honest. But um, I've noticed on some power supplies of this one, it's fine on the battery. When you flick the Variac switch, it has a whine that comes through or, or like a digital noise, even though, you know, yeah. So, so this is probably a stupid question, but. <laughs> okay, I'm used to them from nobody's, you, Stephen. Uh, nobody's under any illusions that I know anything about technology. So you say that's dropping the voltage. Is that in effect doing the same thing as an attenuator? Um, no. Yeah, an attenuator does do that, but right. this this is actually within within a, a valve amp. The the voltage would come from your transformer. Right. And I think I can't remember who used to do it now. Whether it was, where is it? Was it Van Halen used to do it? I can't remember. One of them is quite famous for it. Is it not? ZZ That's top? a comment for the. <laughs> is it not ZZ Top? No, it's not. Um, it's not. Um, so that that's a good one. If anybody knows who that is, um, they had a particular sound that was given that low voltage gives that sound. Okay. Uh, and that emulates it. Right. Okay. So that's an emulation of that. But that is one particular pedal I, I've had, and we've, we've tried a couple of these pedals now on a few power supplies. And the only one it would work on had one of those large magnetic, you know, when you've got the cable, you've got the big magnet on the cable, mm -hmm. which blocks out RF interference. Right. So it's a little bit sensitive to that. So I'm going to be interested in rigging this up with this to yeah, see if that eliminates anyway. that problem as well. Hmm. And also the Ecos pedal and a few others. So yeah, it'd be, it's gonna be an interesting little experiment. When I have some time to do, you know, it's when everything else to do. Time that could be spent. Um, no, don't say the P word uh, again. Just put it out yeah, that's, you know. I think that's three times you've mentioned it in the last two videos wow. now. Uh, you know. I'm feeling under pressure, Steve. I'm not really, I don't care. Oh, I don't care what you say. What did your teacher say? <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Meh. Steve, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it is a terrible attitude. Uh, <laughs> but it's one I've got used to over it is, yeah. 30 yeah. odd years oh, no, of yeah. and there being we are. Impact, learn what I have to learn. That's, that's, yeah, that's terrible. Anyway, okay, so yeah, yeah like Fender, like Fender engine that. room. Um, that's the 12 output one, about 200, 220 quid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, let us know what you think. Let us know how you power up your pedals. Uh, hopefully it's not batteries, uh, that environmental disaster. 12 pedals, Velcro to a board, trying to swap all your batteries in the middle of a gig. So brilliant, fantastic. Uh, that's the blues box. Uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us. We do appreciate it. If you've got to the end, uh, I'm impressed. Um, let us know in comments you did um, with this, with this, with this, Password. And please tell us who starred in that famous film, Polarity. <laughs> if it even is a film, Don't think Steve. It is. Don't think it is. It's got to be now. Fevered mind. Okay, so we're probably going to cut all of that out. <laughs> sure, you yeah. are, yeah. <laughs> Just want to mess up your editing time. Yeah, that's you? right, yeah. Work hard. Made you. my life difficult. Yeah. So thank you for joining us at the Blues Box. As always, please do subscribe uh, if you could possibly bear to do that. Uh, give a like if you think it had any value whatsoever. Um, give us a comment, you know, um, tell us tell us what you want to tell us and um, tell us how bad we've done this, really. Mm -hmm. Or whether it's we're aware, but, you know. <laughs> Self-aware. Yeah, brilliant. Yep. So thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Take care. Bye. <laughs> uh...